Magic Pockets for the Mega Drive. Now you're probably thinking, hang on dickhead, they didn't release it for the Mega Drive. And you'd be right. But this is the Amiga version on a Mega Drive cartridge which I've done. But, is this one any good? Well, let's have a little look. You play as a bitmap kid who has trousers that have magic pockets. These can infinitely store all his toys. The creatures inside take all his toys and then he goes on a mission to claim them back. It's a platform game where you must defeat any creatures that stand in your way. There are four levels to get through and they are the caves, jungle, river and mountains. In the lower left you have your hit points represented by fingers. When all fingers are down you'll have one more hit before it's game over. In the right corner is your power meter. When charging, the fist will disappear, then it will slowly appear back on the screen until you are ready to fire. You can jump attack and your main attack move will throw out a power from your pocket. Each stage will have different powers. In the cave area you'll throw tornadoes. Holding the fire button will charge your power up. Release the fire button to send out a large projectile. If you hit the large tornado you'll be propelled upward and become invincible until you come to a stop. In other stages you'll throw snow, rocks and clouds. There are all sorts of creatures in the levels and some will take more hits than others. They're not too much of a problem to defeat, but they can catch you out if you're not sure on the move pattern. There's all sorts to pick up on the way, from food for health, sweets for points and stars for bonus items. There are big items in the levels that can help out. There's a TV set which will show a map of the area you're in. A chewing gum machine which will enable you to blow a huge bubble to float up to a platform to progress. A push bike that lets you ride through all enemies in the way. But is this worth playing? Uh, no, not really. Its biggest problem is it drags out too long. When you're looking at the same scenery for what seems like hours, it gets boring quite fast. Some areas are a pain in the ass to get round, especially when you need to use your full power attack to throw you upwards. The controls are okay, but my only quibble with them are the attacks are in an arch direction and not straightforward. This becomes an issue when trying to throw at enemies on lower platforms. Now you can walk forward and fire, but this puts you in danger of getting hit by an enemy coming towards you quickly. I can imagine how much harder the controls would be if it's a joystick you're using. The difficulty is mid-range and sometimes hard. Unfortunately there is a password system, and there are only short codes too. It's a game worth trying out, especially if you like gods. The ROM can be found easy enough if you search for it, and it can be played on an emulator. Or you can go old school and find a version for systems such as the Amiga, Atari ST, Acorn Archimedes and MS-DOS.